Mother's Day is not only about appreciating all our moms do for us, but it's also about remembering and acknowledging the relationship we have with them. It's important for mothers and their children to have a healthy relationship so they can help each other. Um, obviously, there's so many moments that my mom pushed me to do something, and um, I don't want to be too general about it, but really it is like so many little situations where I'm anxious and I'm trying to overcome a little problem in that moment and she can really just help with that and just keep it simple and just tell me like, you know, this problem really isn't as big as you make it and you can really just figure it out one step at a time, even if it's little, you know. However, these relationships should not be one-sided. Kids should also be there to help their moms. I can get out of my mind sometimes and get really anxious and short and, um, I think we have a similar personality in that, or a characteristic in that mm -hmm. sense. And he can calm me down and he can kind of reel me in when that happens. I mean, who did he learn that from? Of course, me. And I'm hearing my own words coming out of him. And I think that's the best lesson you can learn. Beyond the special connection mothers and children have, moms also have a huge influence on their kids' lives. Hemfield teacher Amy Thompson had two kids who were both so inspired by her passion for chemistry and science, they decided to pursue that themselves. So when my kids were little, um, they would come into school with me, and um, as I was getting my room ready for school at the beginning of the year, I would give them beakers and um, uh, droppers and they would just play with water going back and forth. Um, so from the time the kids were little we were doing science everywhere we went and all the time. I think my kids saw how much I liked science and how science was all around us and how we could explain to them um, science in places that most people don't think science and I think that made their minds work like a science mind. Like many moms, now that her kids are out of the house, Mrs. Thompson's relationship with them has changed. So when my kids lived at home, um, many people called me a hover mom. Um, I always um, was, I, I tried to be a, a big a part of their life as I could. Um, I knew when they had practices, I knew where they were gonna be going for different events. Um, it took, was a little bit of adjustment when they headed off to college and that, that kind of disappeared. Um, and now that they're both grown and married, um, it's definitely a different type of relationship. Um, we still are in contact, but a lot of times um, it's not because they need things or um, have even have questions. A lot of times it's just call to check in and, and see how things are going. The relationship between moms and their kids is always growing and changing with time. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Mary Wynand.